What's going on, G Squad? It's your buddy, man, and welcome back. Welcome back. You already know what time it is, man. So, uh, today, man, I got a new mod that I want to add to the newest member of that ride collection. You already know what time it is. It's that Riker I want to get down to, man. Man, that thing is, is, is sweet. It's sweet. You know what I mean? Riding it. You know what I mean? It's, I love it. So, Definitely want to start making some modifications to it. And the first thing I said that I was going to do was either put music on it or add some LEDs to it. And I decided to go this route. We adding LEDs. You know what I mean? Um, the music situation, man. I definitely want to add music to it. And I'm going to add that ASAP. A-S-A-P. You did. Um... The only reason why I didn't jump to that first versus the LED because I definitely want to do some some research on all the different brands of speakers that I can put on there. Uh, it's not as easy to just go out there and just grab whatever you want to grab. I mean, it is that easy, but I don't want to be like nobody else, to be honest with you, man. Cats just going out here to get in these Kenwoods and all this good stuff, and I'm thinking about going a totally different route. I'm thinking about either going uh, DS18 or SCAR Audio, but then I'm not sure if they make a housing for those speakers. Uh, DS18 does, but SCAR Audio will be my first choice because that's what I have in the truck. That's what I have that's going in the SS. You know what I mean? I love their speakers. You did. So I said I was going to give a call out to them, see what they got, what can fit their Marine speakers. After I figure that out, then I'm gonna figure out the radio that I'm gonna put on there, this, that, and the third, and blase, blase, blase. So, the LED thing would have been the easiest modification to do right now. So, we're gonna go ahead and get this wired up, man. That's my plan. So, I've been watching videos on it, been watching videos and stuff on it, man, and it seemed relatively simple to do. You know what I mean? And we're gonna attack that. But before we even do that, you already know what you gotta do. What y'all gotta do like comment subscribe to the video man subscribe subscribe yeah i mean we're trying to move these numbers up you did the more i can move these numbers up the more i can supply y'all the easier it's gonna be to supply y'all with some stuff man yeah i dig and uh i definitely want to get to a point where we can just go ahead and start doing giveaways 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 but i can't do that yet man because y'all tripping subscribe you did subscribe like 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 you did so boom here it is. You know what I mean? That black on black. We're gonna do away with that. We did. Uh, I gotta clean this garage out, y'all. Y'all see all these stains, man? Works. Oh, I works in here. I works. I'm about to knock this bike over, too. I keep bumping into that damn bike. But yeah, I works in here. So we're gonna go ahead and start busting the Riker down. I gotta start taking some panels and stuff off to see what we're gonna be working with. Then we're gonna go ahead and see what's up with this you did uh upside down Let's see what's up with this you did that's the kid that's the kid so stay tuned and let's get active all right and we back and we back man just coming back with an update real quick you already know what time it is um yeah so basically i just went ahead and got some of the body panels off took the hood off here which is pretty simple um you have to kind of like grab it from the sides of these little cubbies and there's like a little tab up underneath that you have to squeeze up towards you and then you pull it off and then it unsnaps from here um pull this back as you can see it's just a little bit of finagling you have to do so like from here to here it's kind of just like squeezed up in there so you slam it down and it goes back up nothing really fantastic on the front i'm probably just gonna leave it like this because i don't think I'm gonna put uh, one up under the grill to kind of give it a shine up in here. But I'm thinking about putting it up on the hood to shine through the hood instead. I took the side panels off here. There was some tabs underneath here. There was one up underneath the middle somewhere. And there was one in the front. And that kind of came down. Took the top off here couple tabs uh there's one here then these were tabbed onto that body panel and then this kind of pulled off there was a couple over here and this pulled off that way and then the actual slide mechanism for the gas tank 
it just kind of folds up and out. So that was easy. Did the same process over here. A couple snaps, a couple tabs, pull out, dropped it. It was easy. So we got all the we got all the uh, body panels that we're gonna take off. We got all that. Now it's time to go ahead and start wiring and running. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and peel back some of, figure out what brake light, uh, figure out the brake light wire, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull back uh, the tab on that tap in, which it should be in this line here. So I'm gonna go ahead and. You see the big harness up top here, so I'm probably gonna do it right in here somewhere, man. Peel back a piece of the wire right in this area, a uh, piece of the tape right in that area, tap into my wire, which it should be the white wire from what uh, the video I watched, which I'm gonna give credit to that video uh, later on. Uh, so you'll see it down below the video that I watch or whatnot. But yeah, tap into the white wire here, and that should be my brake wire because apparently this kit, um, even though it's an LED uh, that you can kind of change the colors on. Ooh, 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 bad. Yeah, even though it's a LED kit that you can change the color on, uh, it has this feature on it. If you hit the brake light, all the LEDs will turn red. Uh, so that's the reason why we need to tap into the brake wire. You know what I mean? So. We're gonna go ahead and start getting some of this stuff wired up, do our first test. If that's working, we gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the areas that we're gonna put the lights in. And then it's, we're gonna be done, man. You did, so stay tuned. All right, so I wanna kinda go over this kit just a quick minute. Uh, so the kit actually supplies you with everything that you need. You got your remote. Uh, that way you can kind of like change uh, it's the on and off you can change all the different type of settings they got on it color uh, flashing whatever you want to do you can change it on this remote um, I see the battery which this is obviously for that remote you got the zip ties in it uh, this is your module in a way so this is what we're going to be plugging up and starting with each one of the lights are LED and the lights are different. So make sure you start this off the right way. Um, you can see this one has two ends, so it kind of connects then go to the next and go to the next. But there's one that's an ending wire, which is this one. So it's going to end. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? So it has a adhesive back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean whatever surface that we're gonna put it on, we're gonna clean it really, really good with some alcohol uh, or some type of quick dry degreaser, whatever brake cleaner would be pretty good. You could do that as well. So that's what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna use rubbing alcohol if I ain't got no rub, no um, brake cleaner. But other than that, man, kit relatively simple. So we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff picked up. Oh, last thing I wanna do, I wanted to mention it has three sets of connecting wires so this is a this is your very long wire that way if you you got a long distance to travel to the next wire then you, you got this then you got three middle length wires and then three short wires so yeah everything that you need man to get the job done and so we're gonna go ahead and get that job done and we back work 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 all right man so uh i got the initial wire set up for the test and uh let me go ahead and turn this off man yeah got the initial wire set up for the test man pretty simple tapped into the brake line to see the brake line the brake wire y'all for the brake uh lights tapped into that to see if it work and it does work so i'm gonna give y'all a little visual real quick and we're gonna go ahead and start mapping out where we're gonna put these lights at and then get it buttoned up you did so as you can see here it is tap me into the white back here which i'm going to kind of like tape this up spin this around cover it and then you know do all my little cleanup so that's gonna get cleaned up and then here's our test we got the positive we got the ground and then we got the test light here. So with that being said, here's the remote. It's 
I go on, then I can change the color. So that's blue. And then when we match this break, which is here, that blue turns red. As you can see, red. So, with that being said, man, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, man. Go ahead and, and map out all these places, get these panels back on. And then we're gonna come back with that final product, man. So stay tuned. Yes, I'm done, finally. Um, clean that lens real quick. Clean that lens real quick. Yeah, so finally done, man. And sure enough, it looks good. You did, so woo. I ain't gonna lie, the work took a lot, a little bit. Uh, after you kind of map out exactly where you want it to go, all the lights, you got to run your cords, and that's what kind of took the longest. I'm burning up because I'm in the garage, and you, of course, of course, you know, garages ain't really got no AC blowing like that, so I need to get something in here, a fan of some sort. So, without further ado, man, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. As you can see, I got it all buttoned back up. You can't see no wires. Everything tucked away. I even nicely, let me see if I can lift this thing. Um, uh, let me see if I can lift this hood up. So I kind of got everything just kind of like tucked in right here for the time being. Nice little spot for it since this is a, a pull strap cord for the battery. And you can see I kind of like ran it along here down to the first light, man. And then I kind of just kind of like follow the wire harness, tuck it around, find good hiding spots all the way around, man, to get it going, you did, so. Um, I put one right up under, it's a metal bar right up under here. So I put one up under there. And then I put one right, um, uh, I don't know if y'all can see this area. It'll probably be easy, I cut the light on, but I put one right there. So it can kind of cast in between here. Then I put one in the middle of the bike, which is about, let me see if I can show y'all, right there. And I went up, followed around, brought another one right up under this seat here on this metal bar. And then brought it in side here and then came up and then put it in here. So y'all can see that one right there. Came back down on the other side of the bike, brought it down and then put one uh, right in this area right there in the middle which I'm going to probably zip tie the back end up to make sure that one stays sturdy because uh, it's kind of up there. And I put one right there in that area. And that's it, man. I actually got one more light that I can kind of take advantage of, but I ain't going to do it. I'm going to just leave it like that. Later on down the line, I get bored and I figure out something where I want to put it. Then I'll do so. But for now, guess what? It's gonna be just like that. So let's uh, get this button up. Let's get this thing button up the way it's supposed to be. Uh, let me see. Oh, there we go. Bam. Bam. Dead on the money. Woo! Y'all, that was a lot of work. So, without further ado, man, I'll go ahead and turn this thing on. Let's grab our remote real quick. Boom, we're gonna hit D to turn it on. As you can see, it's on. And I'm gonna hit these lights for us. Bam, it's on. So I got it kind of like changing colors right now. As you can see what the design is kind of glowing in there. Glowing behind the tire. All the way around the bike. And it looks good. Brake light situation. When you hit the brake, boom, they all turn red, which is a pretty cool feature. I like a lot. Uh, make it easy to be visible when I hit that stoplight on them. You did. So let's get a quick look at that grill. So you can see the grill light kind of casting through there. Um, and I don't know, man, where to put this last light at, man. If y'all think of an area, to put that last light, let me know. I was thinking about kind of raising it and putting it back here to give a secondary light over this area, uh, but I didn't know if it was gonna be too much. Yeah, I mean, 
Cats can't overdo some stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, yeah, I'm so. And what? You did turn this thing on. So yeah, I didn't want to be, I didn't want the lights to be too overwhelming. Um, for starters, I'm actually though thinking about putting one somewhere in this area to cast through here. I think that would probably be cool. Let me know what y'all think about that. If I should go there, or if you think of another area, let me know, man. So that's what I got. I appreciate y'all for checking in with your butt. You know what I mean? We're gonna get this bad boy out. I gotta get a couple more mods, and as I get the mods, you already know we're gonna make y'all privy to that. You did, so stay tuned. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, as mentioned before, and until next time, you did.